All right, this is a continuation from my last video. I want to uh, go into detail about what it means to be perfect. What does it mean to go on unto perfection? So let's read a few verses here. I and them and thou and me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and has loved them as thou hast loved me. Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you. But whoso keeps his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwells in us, and his love is perfected in us. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in the world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Because fear has torment, he that fears is not made perfect in love. Okay, so you can see here that uh, being perfect is all about being perfect in the love of God. Right? So as also we read here in Matthew 5, Ye have heard that it has been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despiteful, despitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be children of your Father which is in heaven, for he makes his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have you? Do not even the Republicans and Democrats do that? Do not even the Satan worshipers do that? Do not even the wicked ones do that? And if you salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the wicked ones do that? Right? Do not even the tax collectors and the Republicans and Democrats and independents, don't they all do that? See, if you love them that love you, that's, that's what they do. They love them that love themselves, right? So you're not any different if you're showing, if you only love those that love you. You're no different than the wicked guys, right? You're no wicked, you're no more, uh, uh, you're no better than the bad guys, right? So clearly what Jesus is saying is love everybody, even your enemies, bless them that curse you, right? This is how we're different, and this is how the love of God is perfected in us, right? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect, right? And that is to love everybody uh, and not just uh, those that love you, right? So uh, it's pretty simple, um, but it's easier said than done, right? When you got people that are hateful toward you and that curse you and that do wicked things to you and say bad things about you, it's hard to love them. But when you do love them and bless them, then the love of God is perfected in you. So that's what that means when it says, let us go on unto perfection. The perfection is love, the perfect love of God. And when you have the perfect love of God, you have total peace in your heart. Right? And we're going to live forever. We have everlasting life, and that's the, that's the destination that we're headed to, is that perfect love for one another. All right, clear enough?